Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. This is my month end video where I am going to show you the pages that I completed during the month of July. But before I start doing that, this month was an, shall we say, epic month for the Nikki in Niagara Ch uh, channel. I reached 1,000 subscribers and I thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and um, taking your time out to watch me and uh, I feel privileged that you let me take up some of your precious time. It, uh, it makes me feel uh, very humble that uh, you would enjoy uh, listening to me <laughs> and seeing the little things that I show you. Um, so I, th this is my goal for this channel. I've always wanted to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, the first thing that uh, having this many subscribers allows me to do is to have a community board, which um, I've really been looking forward to having. So please check that out. And um, it's a place for you to talk to me, uh, for me to talk to you, and for you, my subscribers, to talk to each other. Take your uh, topics from anything that I post in my videos or, uh, you know, it doesn't all, it, it isn't all about me, but, um, you know, we'll talk about whatever and you can definitely uh, talk about some of the things that I've shown you in my uh, videos and ask me questions and I'm just really excited about that so please go over and visit and say hi and uh just uh you know <laughs> do it <laughs> um the other thing of course is that i have the required a thousand subscribers the last time i looked i had a thousand and thirty three so we've gone well over and um, I have way more than enough watch hours, so uh, Amazon approved me for monetization. Uh, I don't want monetization because I want to. I don't. I want to sell you stuff, or uh, I expect to get rich on YouTube or anything like that. But it's just. It's just a goal that I think we all have as uh, YouTube uh, makers. We, you know, want that, we want that uh, the vindication that we've made it to a thousand and that, you know, we can, we can have ads. Um, so, um, with the money that I make from ads, I plan to put it back into my channel. Um, I already buy coloring books and coloring supplies and stu stuff. And if I receive money from YouTube, from the ads, or from Amazon, from my Amazon affiliate links that are in all of my that are in all all of my videos, uh, that money just goes toward lightening my burden <laughs> in buying these things to create content on this channel. If uh, I make, you know, decent amounts of money where I can, you know, actually buy something of significance, uh, we can you know, chat as a community and decide what I should buy for the channel and, you know, such things. So, yeah, anyways, uh, I just wanted to mention that. I am also in the process of getting a uh, 
giveaway ready, which I will probably be doing next week. And um, everybody will be included. I always do international um, giveaways because uh, I love all my subscribers and you're willing to spend your time with me and I'm willing to pay the postage to wherever you live. Of course, if you live overseas for me, it, I'm going to mail it the cheapest way. <laughs> so, you know, it could take a little while, but um, yeah, everybody's included. So, um, from there, first of all, I need to get my drink because I forgot to bring it to the table with me. So, I'm, I'm back now, and we will start the finished pages. I have a lot. If you've watched my previous finished pages, you know that I color like a speed demon and uh, I have a ton of pages so go ahead and grab yourself a drink or a snack or something to watch while uh, sorry to drink or eat while you watch my finished pages so enough of the talking Mickey let's get on with it okay so first of all uh, this, I colored in this book for the Christmas in July, uh, color along, and it also qualifies for the Color Your Hoard challenge or color along, and this is the picture that I did. I'm going to have to zoom in a bit. think that will work for the bigger books. So yeah, this was a lot of fun to color. I really enjoyed this. I used, um, I used fine liners anyways. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And these are, sing these are single sided, so I didn't have to worry for anything going through and nothing did. So no, no big deal. So yeah, I like that. I, oh, I used Pan Pastel for the background. My next book was another one that qualifies for uh, Christmas in July and Color Your Hoard. And this is the picture that I colored in here. And this was done with my color, Derwent Colorsoft pencils. So I had a lot of fun doing this one too. I don't color with pencils very often, but uh, I do occasionally get the urge to. The next one was for the charming chibis. Yeah, there. I thought I thought we were too zoomed in to reach regular size books. There we go. So this was for the charming chibis color along. And I'm trying to color in this book every month anyway, so it was good. And this is the one I did in here. And I chose this one because July was my birthday month. So I uh, basically did this as a self-portrait. And uh, lime green is my, is my absolute favorite color to wear and uh, the color of my hair and color of my eyes and I even I used red spark uh, glitter gel pen for the shoes because I have a pair of sparkly red shoes I call them my Wizard of Oz shoes so I used a lot of media on here Copic and um, silver gel pen because the color, the decorations I did as uh, red and silver. So yeah, I, re I really like how that one came out. I haven't seen it. I did it on July 2nd, so it's been a while since I looked at it. Okay, then the next one was able to hit 
a few color alongs. So it's the Cute Chibi Christmas Coloring Book. So it qualified for the Charming Chibis, it qualified for uh, Christmas in July, and it qualified for Color Your Horde. And this is the picture that I did. I was really feeling intimidated by the pictures in this book because there's like there's so much detail in them that I didn't know if I could do them justice but um, I absolutely had a blast doing this I used a lot of different um, media on this one as well um, the main image here I used my Copic markers and um, then for the uh, patterns in the background, I used fine liners for uh, fine liners and um, water-based markers. I can't, I can't tell which ones for all the pattern in the background. And then I put a uh, silver gel pen for tinsel on uh, a lot of the things. And the, the background here is a black Posca pen. So really pleased with how that one turned out. And I'll definitely be coloring in that again. Now the next book is one that I've decided is going to be my uh, long-term book that I'm going to work in and try to try to finish. This is my big book that I'm working on finishing. So, um, so I decided might as well start at the beginning because every page is the same except a different animal. So I started off. For completion I will do all these but I haven't touched them yet. Started with the first full page. So I did three this month and that is the first one that I did. Um, it looks complicated, but it wasn't really. I mean, it's very simple things that you're coloring. Uh, I'm also going to only use gel pen in this book. So it's all done in gel pen, which is easy to color with and uh, quite quick. But this did take me three days to color. And for me, <laughs> that is a long time because I do not like... I do not like working on a page for days and days and days, you know. I like one day or maybe, you know, just need to finish it off the next day. So then the next one that I did was the Australian Sheepdog. And this one actually, out of the three that I did, this I found the most tedious. And it really was just because I got tired of the color scheme that I had chosen. Purple's not one of my favorite colors and uh, I decided to have purple go with the pink and a little bit of kind of like a chartreuse green going throughout there which I don't know if you can see on camera or not. So yeah I found this one the most tedious but it was it was simple to do. And then the next one was the giraffe, and this one was really easy to do. And I just absolutely love coloring leaves. I just got out a handful of different colors of greens, and I randomly went through it with one color, then went back and randomly colored until they were all colored in. And, um, of course the drafts I did realistic colors that's not something I intend to do very often in this book this is a really pretty one it's simple but it's nice so that's three pages in there that I've done this month so none of my books qualify for um, color alongs anymore so I'm working in the one color mandala book from Sunlight Drawing, except I'm not doing them one color, I'm just coloring them as regular, as regular, uh, mandalas and mandalas and making up my own color schemes. So I think I did two in here. So I did this one, and I did 
this one. Oh no, I might have done four. This one. I did this one. And I did this one. So that's four I did. I really, really like this one. I used all the fluorescent markers that I have in my uh, Ohuhu set. And this is what this is when you use fluorescence just for a pattern you use all fluorescence and they all go together and it is bright and cheerful so four out of that one then I continued on with mystery color pets this month I also bought the uh, new the new volume that came out so I found that in July so I'm glad I was worried that I was just gonna find this issue and never be able to find the magazine again but yes I am so I did I might have just done one in here yeah I did I did this one this is a hamster I'm assuming it's a hamster it looks like one to me I don't know what this is cucumber uh, so anyways I used um, 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 I used my budget friendly alcohol markers I have touch fives and oh who's at the moment so one out of that and then I am still working on this one I've been working on it for a while I don't think I did anything in it last month and this month I did well, I, I thought I did two but it looks like I only did one so yeah I did this one and it's really cute I, lo I love the patterns the patterns in here they're very um, folk art ish and bright happy colors so that's a color by number book a lot of these are colored by numbers, but not all. Then um, for the Zen Doodle color by number book, I am working in Playful Pets, and I will work in this one until it's done or until it's spring again, when I will switch back to Spring Awakenings. So in this one, I am positive I did two because I've decided I'm going to do two. So did this one of the kitty and the luggage, which is cute. And then this one of the puppy on a rug. So yeah. Then the next one is Romantic Country. And I followed along with a... Uh, color along on the internet I mean like on on YouTube so I didn't do exactly what that person was doing but I followed along and did things in the order and sometimes I changed the color of what she was doing I used a wide variety of uh, of media in this I used my color soft pencils I used uh, Maped water-based markers. I used black and white Posca. Um, I used some gold glitter gel pen. I used some red uh, glitter glue and I think that's all so this one goes towards color your hordes first picture that I uh, have done in this and I really like it so um, that's kind of got me into coloring these books because I really like them but I couldn't just make that first mark you know just taking a sip of my drink there so that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. And then I did some more pages in the um, Bell, the Belba family color by number books. 
In the animal mosaic, I did the zebra, which I believe is on the cover. Yep. So I did the zebra. Let's turn, whoops. Let's turn them the right way around. So I did the zebra. And so he was in the pop art colors. And then I did Katie the butterfly. And she is done in natural colors. Then I worked in the other one, which is Travel Mosaic. And I believe I did two in this one as well. Um, no. I, I showed you that one already. Okay, so this one is a mess. It just didn't turn out well. And I fell asleep while I was coloring this one, so... It looks like somebody scribbled on it. So enough said about that. Then I did this one. And this one turned out nice. This is a bungalow. And I used... Um, looks like I used a combination of... No, I don't think I used alcohol markers. I just used... Um, I think I used Maped markers and Crayola Super Tips for that. And then this book I work in every month, and this is my three color book. They are very simple mon mandalas, and my theme for this book is to use three colors. So it's taken me a while to find uh, a medium that works well on these pages because they're very, very smooth. And uh, from all the things that I've tried, the uh, Crayola Super Tips work the best. So that's what I've used. So I did this one. And I did this one. Not crazy about that one. This one, unfortunately, my colors soaked through on this one and uh, I didn't use dark enough colors to cover it up on here and then I did this one this one's my favorite that I did so yeah those are the four I did in there and then I did two in coloriage mystère Disney babies Cercle Magique by Ashet Eros and I believe I did two. Yes. So these are the two that I did. I'm not sure who this is. I want to say that it's Baby Alice in Wonderland with her, her cat, Diana. But uh, I'm probably totally wrong. And here's Baby Chip. This one turned out beautiful. The, the shading and everything looks great. These look better on camera or looked at from a distance than when I'm sitting here with the books, you know, straight in my face, up close. They don't look as, as uh, detailed as they do from a distance. So yeah, I just did those two in that one. And my pile over here kind of fell over. So I did a little... Uh, bit of my French magazines here. This one is Zen, and all the pictures are um, kind of like a Chinese, Buddhist type of feeling. So there's this one, which is a temple. Oh, I only did one. I could have sworn I did two in this. This is just beautiful. I love it. It looks so realistic, and it looks so intricate, but I've, they're like the most fun thing in the world for me to do. I just, if I only had these French coloriage mystère books, I would be happy as a clown. But of course, I have full set syndrome, so I would have to have every one of them. <laughs> I've always had full set syndrome, though. I mean, <laughs> when I was a kid, I read a lot and I kept all my books to myself and I had to have all of them in a series and yeah 
So Disney Babies came along and these are the two that I did. I believe this is Oliver and Company and of course this is Dumbo. Okay, so I did four in this one. I really like this. That uh, turned out really nice. And then I did uh, these two here. I don't know who that is. Unless it's uh, the littlest boy in uh, Peter Pan. What was his name? Either John or Michael. I forget which was which. And I think this is Baby Brother Bear. So those are the four. And I use um, Crayola super tips in all of these um cray mystere the, i i forgot to tell you this one i used um big intensity as they are called now uh then the next the next one um i did this one for color your hoard so um, did I not? Oh no, I didn't work in this one. I just kept it with them. I didn't want to separate the books. Okay, so this one, Buddies, I did for Color Your Horde. So I just did the first one in here. And this, I believe, is Zootopia, even though I haven't seen it. And then I did a couple in the um, Zen Master Color by Number Lighthouses. I love this book. These pictures should, pictures are just beautiful. I mean, I love lighthouses. They just they just look so wonderful, and they remind me of the olden days. So I did this one. This is actually the back of the previous page, so they bleed right through this paper. Um, yeah, so I did this one, and then I did this one right here. So this has a very colorful yacht, and I'm looking forward to working in that again next month. Then I did a book for Color Your Horde, the Dr. Seuss coloring book. Almost everything in here is a double spread, and I just didn't want my first thing I did in here to be a double spread. So, one of the few single spreads I did was this right here. And so, I did this in one of my favorite uh, fashion combination of colors. Uh, I used uh, my fine liners. Stabilo or Stettler's, I don't know which. And then I used my Color Soft, my Derwent Color Soft pencils to do the, uh, the five things. And that was a lot of fun to do. Doing the maze was kind of like doing a, a pattern or a mandala. You just kind of like got into a zen. Now this is another one I'm working in every month. This is the uh, North American edition of this book and I so, so wish I had the French edition because the paper in this is horrible for double-sided. So this is who I did this month. And I'm working in this every month because I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I really like the first three movies from the 70s and 80s. And, um, you know, I grew up with those and I have watched the original Star Wars, like, in reality, like 20 sometimes. But uh, uh, the others only a couple times and I haven't watched. Well, I've watched a couple of the new ones, but... Yeah, so I'm working in this every month so that I, like, actually do it. I think if I put it away on the shelf, I would forget about it. So that was my one page. And I was glad it was Princess Leia because she's one of my favorite characters. 
And then next was um, Coloring Heaven Cats 2019. And this goes for Color Your Horde. And this is the one I did by Jess Erskine. And um, I did a base with my Copic markers for the cat. And I also did the cup. Then I used my uh, Derwent Color Soft on the cat. And I used are those big markings, or sorry, big intensity. I'll have to get used to the new name. I uh, I think they're the yeah. I'm pretty sure they're the big intensities that I used for for the cup. That was fun because I was just like doing a mandala, and I like how that turned out. Then. I did my picture out of Sea Life. I hadn't ordered any more of these books. I, I do have one other one, but the, I think this one is the most intricate one. And since this was the first one I bought, I thought all the others were going to be intricate. But I've seen a few people working in them and doing flips of the others now. And they're not on the same level of details. So this is the one that I did, some dolphins. All the pictures in here are beautiful. And um, I use my fine liners to do these. Okay, and then my favorite mandala book is uh, The Art of Mandala by Jason Hamilton. It says volume one, so I wish he would hurry up and publish a volume two. Jason. So, I think I did three in here. Did this one. <laughs> a couple of these I put my color palettes on them. I love this. I love these colors. Turned out really nice. And this one I love. You know what I did is that I totally forgot to put a, to put a protection page between these. So the color transferred o over onto here, but it was easily covered up except for the bits around the outside. But it looks really good. It looks like little paint spatters. So I like this one too. And then this one. This one, uh, I made a big boo-boo here. So it's uh, quite noticeable. I tried to fix it as best I could. And I don't know whether it made it worse or better. So anyways, a lot of the black was already on here. Like the black the black here and the black here was already on it and uh, so I decided to use black as one of my colors and then I love pink and black they're my favorite well I keep saying everything's my favorite color or color combination I just love bright colors so yeah I like that one Now, when I sit down with a mandala book, I can't just do one. And same with patterns. This is the Designing Colors magazine from Penny Press. It is volume 14. There have been at least one more volume published since this, but I'm not going to buy another one until I'm almost done this one. So we did two for this one. I like the color combination on here, but somehow it just doesn't feel right to me. I don't know. And then this one, again, um, I knew I wanted to use tan because it has a tea theme. It has tea, tea cups, a kettle, tea bag, um, some actual cups of, cups of tea. And, uh, so yeah, I just kind of like came up with my palette and then I decided the real things should be colored in real colors so the lemons are yellow and the uh, sweets here have pink icing on them. 
Uh, I kind of like this. I like it, I like it better than that one, but it's still these two aren't my favorites. I really love that book. And then here's 100 Magical Patterns, and I like this book a lot too. It is uh, simple. It's big, so you can use your alcohol markers. I, I can watch TV and not make too many mistakes while doing these. So we did this one and I was a little disappointed because I had I had the uh, running out of ink syndrome happen to me here not only once but twice. I uh, started off my markers were working great and then my orange ran out while I was doing this round. And then as I was finishing up this round, my red started running out and I just barely made it work to finish up the last round. So that was kind of disappointing. Otherwise, I would have really liked this. This is gray, by the way. It looks, it does look brownish, but gray, I've come to know, know that gray is a really good neutral color to use. And then I did this one, which is quite different to the previous ones I've done in here. And I really like this. Just used my budget friendly, budget friendly um, alcohol markers and then I used a pink sparkly or a pink glitter gel pen for the little jewels on their whatever <laughs> those are called. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. And then I finished this book. This is my fourth book that I have finished. I'm not going to do a flip through of it here. I'm going to give this its own video where I do a flip through of it. I will show you a couple that I did this month. Let's just turn to the back and I'll show you a couple of the ones I did this book this month. So there's Jimmy Dean. There's Princess Diana. Abe Lincoln. Muhammad Ali. So there's some that I worked on this month. I really, really, really liked working in this book, and I have all the others in the set. I am not going to do a quirkle in August, though. I'm taking a break because I worked hard on this. I, I don't know if I said it already, but I was halfway through the book when I started to complete it this month. So I did I did basically half of it this month. And these take a while to do. So there weren't that many pages to do, but each one does take a good portion of your day. And so yeah, that was the book that I had agreed to finish. And this one, I did this. And it's all in water-based markers except for a gold glitter pen. One of the colors, it tickles me that one of the colors is gold. So I always use a gold gel pen for that. <laughs> and then the other one I did was this one of a bird in a tree. So yeah, these are, these are really easy to do, but uh, they're quick and fun. And so I am going to make this my next book that I'm going to complete. This will be my August book to complete. It is it's more than half done, but it still has quite a few pages in it. Um, it doesn't have as many as it looks like it has because at the end there's about six or so um, sample pages from their other books, which unfortunately are not color by numbers, so I won't be doing those. And uh, this is by Lilt Kids Coloring Books. They have a lot of color by number books that are basically the, the same sort of thing as this one. Lots of flowers and butterflies and, and uh, other things. So yeah, this is the one that I'm going to work on 
finishing for August. And then, I hope you're enjoying your drink. Maybe put paws on and go get yourself some more. We got uh, a handful more to go here. So then I worked in uh, Adorable Aliens. This was for Color Your Horde. And this is the one that I did and I am pretty tickled at the way that this, this turned out. Really like it. I used, um, I used Copic marker for my uh, background, or for my base, and then I colored over the grass and the uh, alien. He is a gilded bladder booze. Um, I colored over him and the grass with my Derwent Color Softs, and then I did the sky with black and white Posca. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. So that's how, that's, that's the way I'm going to work in this magazine, is just do really fun pictures. Okay, then I worked in, um, Travel Mosaic. I'm working through this slowly, but surely, surely, I should say. And I did this one this month. It's, uh, I don't know, is it St. Petersburg? I don't know what it's called. But uh, it's some famous building in, uh, or church in um, Russia. So I used uh, water-based markers. And I think I might have used fl my flares. What are they? Pentel? Oh, here, I have them in front of me. They are, oh, Papermate. Papermate Flare. I used those for this. They're nice, bright colors. Um, and then I used... Oh, that's all I used. Oh, I'm going around the base of this one in uh, Sharpie. So, um, yeah, the, I, I love these. They're like absolutely beautiful and, you know, with the bright colors and everything. And they, it's just amazing watching it come to life, you know, because it starts off as just this, you know, mass of separated sections of shapes and it turns into... You know, I mean, you can, for some of these, you can sort of, you know, you can, you, you can tell what they are. It's not that much of a mystery, but, whoa, they're different once they're colored. But the thing is, is that these take me a long time to do. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, well, I, I think I know what it is, is that you do have to color every single one of these spaces uh, separately. You can't like draw around a section and color it in like you can with most of my, uh, most of my, um, you know, mystery coloring things. So yeah, these do take me a long time to do. Much longer than any of my other color by numbers. So that's why I'm working on it slowly. Enjoying the process. Yeah, it looks like there's three left. So I worked in Color Me Wild. This is a Try Animals color by number book. And I did these two. And I am using the... What did I use? Mayped. Mayped markers. I like the Mayped markers. They only come in a set of 24. But they have nice colors and they're bright as heck. This one is different from most of the other ones. Most of the animals in here are symmetrical, like this. And every now and then there's one that's not like this. So this is a crested crane. And I'm using the Vivid palette so that they're not done realistically. They're more like pop art colors. And this one is a Slow Loris. And I looked it up and they're found in Malaysia. If you did not know that. 
And then, to laugh, we have to see this book every month. I did. Did four out of here, actually. So, let's turn them this way. I did that one. And I did that one. And then this one. I love this. It's my favorite of the ones I did. And then I did this one. See, so yeah, these are a blast. If I had nothing but these books, I would just be a happy camper. And my final book that I worked in was from the Color by Numbers series. Uh, this one is called The Happiness and I did one in here and that is this one. So I'm going around these with the black sharpie border as well. Now this one <laughs> This one, like even as soon as I started adding color and I saw, you know, we were going with all these pastel shades and stuff, it just reminded me all the time of that picture of Jesus with the lambs that uh, is, is popular. And uh, yeah, so coloring the whole thing, I was like seeing... Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Okay, okay, enough. I won't hurt your ears. But yeah, I found myself singing that and thinking <laughs> about Jesus because it just, it just made me think of that. So, there you have it. Those are all the pictures that I colored this month. And it was a doozy of a month. I can tell you. So I don't know how August is going to be. It was really hot in July and um, I was stuck in bed for a couple of weeks so I had plenty of time to be coloring and uh, as my regular visitors will know I, uh, I am bed bound quite a bit and that is why I do the amount of coloring that I do. So, uh, I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek at my colored pictures this month. And I hope that uh, if you haven't already that you'll subscribe. And please leave me a comment if you have any questions or any uh, suggestions or things that you would like me to do on this channel for you just let me know in the comments and I will do that I have one that I'm working on getting ready to do someone had asked me what I used what pens and pencils I used for my color by number books so I thought well why don't I just go through all my coloring supplies so because I've never done that before so that's one that I'm getting myself organized for so that will be coming up in the future and um, also the flip of my finished coloring book there so thank you for joining me and in the meantime until next time bye bye